Welcome everyone. My name's Hunter Downey and I'm the SAP NS2 Cloud Go-To-Market Director. And today, I'm going to help you develop your cloud expertise in less than five minutes. At the cornerstone of the question is, what does cloud for a customer actually mean? When an individual evaluates cloud products, the real question is, how do you know what to buy? Because the cloud is filled with buzzwords, and what we need to do is we need to shift from concept to things that an individual can purchase and consume. At its core of the cloud are three fundamental principles, servers, resources, and security. To run application software, we need to identify what is the 2B infrastructure that needs to be run in the cloud. It's very important. For many of the customers out there, they're thinking of an existing workload that needs to be run. So we need a forecast of what are the servers required to run this in this new landscape. Secondly, part of the cloud is specialized resources to help support this landscape. And the third part is, how do we ensure that this new landscape that's running your application adheres to your security standard? When we think about it, what we need to do is we need to also transition from these three principles to how organizations and people talk about their offerings. As we know, when someone talks about their cloud component, they talk about it in three separate tiers, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. So we need to make sure that as a customer, we can identify what we need and then correspond it to the right offering for us. This is critical. It's being able to understand that based upon what you want to do with your solution, you can identify what's the best solution approach. Everyone is well aware of the on-premise deployment model. You as a customer identify the software that you want to purchase. You physically buy hardware, get it installed in your data center, and then do the necessary operating system, database, and application tuning to get it running. As we know, the on-premise model comes with a lot of capabilities that are being compromised because organizations are not getting the required customer service that they need to be successful. So what has evolved is the concept of the infrastructure as a service for these hyperscalers. Organizations and companies that are able to run high volumes of high volumes of cloud computing to help support these workloads. But keep in mind that in an infrastructure as a service model, it typically only goes up to the operating system and below. What we see is the true growth model is platform as a service. It's still being able to leverage those cloud compute capabilities, but also ensures that the operating system database and parts of your application are being run by specialized resources. Here's a very important part. The part that's different is ownership. In a platform as a service offering, you as the customer still have complete domain and authority on your cloud investment. And software as a service is different. This represents being able to identify a solution. As a customer, you don't see the technical components and the hardware and the software. You're responsible for the configuration. This is the landscape of the cloud today. Think about our three cornerstones of servers, resources, and security. The key point is that you need to evaluate cloud providers with organizations that are designed to run your software and make sure that the expertise in house that comes with that cloud offering pertains to what you want to deploy in the cloud. And the final part is that the security adheres to the standards that you need. The reason why this is so important is because this is what your cloud investment should be focused upon. What do you need to run in the cloud to be successful? We work for SAP NS2, the Secure HANA Cloud, which has absolutely mastered the approach of how to run SAP enterprise workloads in the cloud. It's being able to leverage the hyperscalers and the virtual machine capacity of how to run SAP solutions, along with the necessary experts who are remotely supporting your existing work streams to make sure that you have a combination of how to get that new landscape in the cloud with the right experts supporting you at all times. As a result, that's the reason why we've been so successful. What we do is we say, we understand that you as a customer are running the application this way. And so we're held accountable for our service level agreements. And we understand the changes that come with SAP software. So you don't have to have that burden. As we identify the best ways to deploy it with the right people, what we do is protect you from any of these cost overruns that are impacting the market today 
along with the best ways to deploy and run SAP. I hope this was beneficial. We appreciate your time today, and we hope that it provides you a cornerstone of how the best way to evaluate cloud products. Thank you.